Hey y'all, Stony Creek here. I had someone send me a Facebook message the other day asking me how I liked my Ketchum Round Bell feeder. I like it just great. We haven't had any goats get any heads stuck in the feeder. We don't have very much waste on the ground. Works out pretty good for our application. So I figured I would just show you how we load it up and then I'll take the time and show you how, how it works and we'll turn the goats out and you can see them go to work on it. Now we'll get a closer look at what's going on here. With these Ketchum feeders, these will slide as the goats eat in on the bale. That end slides, the backside slides, so it will compress on the bale, which helps on the waste. There, of course, is some waste, but there's not a whole lot. Not like just putting a bale out in the pasture where the goats can crawl all over it and that sort of thing. Not a lot of people do, but we've actually built a shelter over the top of ours. We've got a small enough herd that we can leave the bale stationary. So this, so this will just keep water or snow from just coming straight down on top of the bale. It'll still get blow in, but it's better than just coming straight down. Again, this back rack would slide if we didn't have a bale sitting next to it right now. Now, a lot of you might be asking, why am I feeding a bale in the middle of August? Well, it's because I'm in Oklahoma. Although we have had rain for the last couple of days and things are starting to green up, three days ago, everything you see out there was about as brown as you could imagine. So we've had to start supplementing uh, hay. They still have access to the pasture, of course. But we have uh, started supplementing with the hay. All this is is a primarily a Timothy grass. It's just a prairie hay, a few weeds in there. Horses wouldn't eat it, cows probably wouldn't, I don't know. But uh, it's great for goats. All of them are enjoying the new bale. Got dogs out here to make sure that they're doing it right. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed this, and if you're interested in buying one of those Ketchum round bale feeders, I would highly recommend it. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.